Kristen. And I'm Lindsay. And, and we are 5678 Glam. We are so excited to be filming our very first video. Today's look is featuring the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette. If you'd like to see how we got this fall glam look, just keep watching. Okay, so we're gonna jump right, right in. in. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. We're both Tearing. using the MAC Paint Pot. I'm using the shade Painterly. I have soft ochre. Good ochre. Ochre. I need I, what do you do? Apply with your hand? I'm going to use my finger. Uh -huh. I'll use this brush from the dollar store. Did you use that your primer? Yeah, but I have to prime again. Prime and prime again. Again. Prime, and prime, and prime again. I'm going to use the IBY Highlight and Contour Palette just to set. I'm going to use one of these light shades, probably highlight shade one or two, just to set the primer. And right now I'm taking another primer, Urban Decay Primer Potion, and I'm just going to reinforce the prime. I'm going to do the same thing and set my eyes with the same. We actually got this in our Boxy Charm. We love Boxy Charm. Okay. So we're both going to be using best palette ever, which is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette for, well, okay, what kind of look are you going for? I don't know. Yours is expensive. really, like, not touched. Well, I recently bought this. Kristen made me buy it. Um, so this is what mine looks like. Mine's really dirty. Not yet. Definitely something warm. Something fall. Okay, so I'm going to go in with raw sienna and burnt orange. I'm just going to mix the two. That's a good transition. I'm going to do the same thing because those are perfect for that. I'm dipping into both. Tap off the excess. I'm just kind of... I'm loving red ochre. Oh, soft ochre and red ochre. And golden ochre. This is my Morphe M505. Oh, yeah. And I'm just going to dip into a little bit of red ochre to darken it. So this is just going in the outer. And these shades are so, so pigmented. pigmented. Outer V? Yes, that's where it's going. A little blended in, though. This is definitely a full look, but it's going to be simple. Full glam for the glam fam. Just doing red ochre out of here. I'm taking it like halfway in. This mirror is actually really good in here. That's what we were using. I am going to go a different route and I'm going to take tempera on this like angled fluffy brush and I'm just going to kind of go on my brow bone because sometimes we can take it up a little too high and that's just not how I like it for my eyeballs because they're very hooded. I'm just blending more. Um, I'm going to add a little bit more of the red ochre, and then I'm going to darken everything up with Cypress Umbra, which is the dark brown shade. I am going to do something different. I'm going to take... <laughs> you were creative. Somebody scream at you, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm going to take Real... Real Bar on the same brush that I used for my transition, and I'm just going to kind of warm it up a little bit. Less red, more... Wrong. I just keep dipping into red ochre. This is from Smashbox actually. It came in a palette, a shadow liner brush. But I'm gonna go into Cypress Umber and just do a little bit darker in the outer V. A little bit. And then I'll Yeah, do... I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna take this Luxie um, 229 tapered blending brush and same going with Cypress Umber. Close to my lash line and then a little bit in the outer V. We literally are doing the exact same look. Yeah, but that's okay. I'm gonna probably mix, yeah, I'm gonna mix Red Ochre and Real Gar and just blend out the Cypress Umber dark shade to look like a gradient. I'm taking Burnt Orange and going back in. This is an e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush. 
I'm going to use this and I'm going to lighten up right under my brow bone to kind of blend everything together. I'm going to use tempura. I love it. Okay, so now I'm going to go back into raw sienna and burnt orange. I'm going to go back one more time in with cypress time. umber. Looking for, I have a Morphe flat shader brush that I absolutely love for shimmer shadows. Yeah! I found it. Morphe Whoa, G20. Whoa! That's a gunmetal. Okay. Oh, I wrote this color. So I am going to take this color pop, Super Shock Shadow in the shade Blaze. This was from the Kathleen Knight's quad. Her first, I think, yeah, I think it was the Where first the one. Where the light is. Yeah, not the night, the light. So, I'm going to put this all over the lid, but first I'm going to take, use some glitter glue, because putting down glitter glue makes it okay. so intense. Oh it's just God, the elf. That one too. What I'm going to do, whenever I have a shimmer shadow, I like to spray the brush. This is from Project Beauty Spray Set Go, also in our boxy charm. So, I'm going to put a little bit of Primavera on the brush, and I'm going to spray this and not get our whole setup wet. I'm gonna do this on the um, lid. You always glue. use the glitter glue first before I putting. I do always with color pop shadows because I feel like it just makes them more intense. I like this a lot. Blaze. All right, I like really love this shade. I'm gonna have to like blend a little bit more here. It's like a balancing act. I'm gonna spray a little bit more. So. So I'll go like halfway in. Like a gold look. I'm gonna do the same thing now with Primavera. So I'm gonna take this brush from BH. It's a BH 103 brush. Just like a flat little shader brush and I'm taking Primavera. Um, I honestly don't even need to spritz. I'm just gonna set down the ColourPop shadow. And now it's super metallic. One last time, I'm going to take Cypress. Darken up the Very outer dark. corner. I just keep going in with the colors. I'm sorry. Simple mm -hmm. cleansing facial wipes for sensitive. Oh, they're the sensitive skin experts. Yeah. Oh, I like it. with this, I'm just going to clean up underneath. And I'm going to do the same thing. i go one more time with, where is this brush? With the tempera. What are you doing? I'm taking rose water and just spritzing this. It's in a little travel thing. Because I don't like to bring the whole thing. Where are you going? Here. Uh, I'm going to use the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores. I'm Oil-free, poreless, skin-perfecting serum primer. I just have here a little baby thing. This is a Smash Bros. Photo Finish. And I have it in a bigger size, but I bring this when I go places. And I really like it. Okay, so I'm going to wet this. This is the EcoTools um, Total Perfecting Blender. So I'm just going to go wet this, and I'll be right back. Action! Okay, so I wet my beauty sponge. And I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Matte and Poreless Fit Me in shade 228. And I'm just, before I do my face, I'm putting on the Best Damn Lip Mask. This is from um, the Best Damn Beauty line, Nicole Guerrero's little skincare collection. Shout and out. I, yeah, this is really great. I'm like almost done with it. But I'm going to go in with the uh, NARS Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturizer. Um, so it has SPF 30, and this is in the shade St. Moritz Medium 1. I'm going to put it on the back of my hand, and I'm actually going to use this. This is from the Crown. This is also in our Boxy Charm, and I like to you know what? soak okay. up a lot of product. You know what I think we should do? What? I think we should do like a full face using only Boxy Charm products. I'm good with that. That's, That's a good idea. idea right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm going to, so I always kind of drag it down my neck. Okay, for concealer I'm going to use my current favorite. This is the Catrice Liquid Camouflage High Coverage Concealer and I use the shade Light Beige. This is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Light 2 Vanilla. So 
So this is a smaller version. Whoa! It says contour blending. I got this set at Marshalls. I'm gonna use this one to kind of blend the concealer. I'll take the extra and no. just hit the hit Send the highlight spots, the center points. Send up the forehead. Cupid's bow. I will take like the butt end. Help it all mesh together. I'm going to but. take what's in my hand right now, which is the IBY Highlighting Contour Palette, and I'm going to take the Banana Shade, the Highlight 2 shade, and that's going to go right under my eyes and wherever else I kind of put it. And while you're doing that, I'm going to start the contour process. I'm going to use this. It's the Pro Mini Flawless Airbrush, and I like mix the Contour 1 and Contour 2. I kind of like to mix them all. And I start with my forehead. I'm going to set the rest of my face because I have to. Because I am oily. I can't hide it. So I'm just going to take the Rimmel Stay Matte and this big Real Techniques brush and kind of just go all over my face. Buffing it in. Blending it in. I love Real Techniques brushes. Me too. It's so soft. And they're affordable. Carve it out. <gasps> Butter bronzer. bronzer. I bronze before I contour because I just do. I'm taking the Moda Pro mm -hmm. by Royal and I think it's Royal and Lingle, right? Mm -hmm. And my Butter Bronze. Wait, can I you show have it? to smell it before you use it. Can I show you what mine looks like? Oh my god! Can you tell that I love this bronzer? I try to alternate. I use it every day. I'm just still contouring here. So I'm just warming up the face and prepping for the contour. And I contour here too. I'm going to take one of these um, little brushes that I got at Marshalls and just like quickly. Nothing crazy. It's just simple. I'm going to contour now. With the IBY contour and highlight palette. I'm gonna just go in with contour too. I love this shade. Okay, I'm taking the Real Techniques. This is the blush brush. Not for blush. Mark Jacobs. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Tantastic Omega Bronze Coconut Perfect Tan. Do it afterwards. Like I do it after I contour to kind of like blend everything. Listen, everybody has their own personal preferences. So now I'm going back in with this highlight shade and I'm not baking. I don't want to bake today. I'm just going to, you know, do a little bit underneath to say, hey, I did contour and I don't want it to be muddy. So, you just want it to be okay under there. Make it a little bit sharper. I highlight before I brush. blush. Oh my god, I blush before I highlight. I'm taking the Cargo Beach Blush in Cable Beach. That's what it looks like. It's like a little tin like that. And it just has like little shimmers in there. I'm going to take... Oh, I like that. Um, I think it's from Target. Up and up? Yes. Up and up. Just dab it in there, not precise, and just sweep, sweep, sweep. So I highlight before I blush, so I'm going to take the, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Illuminator in So Hollywood. That's gorgeous. So I'm going to take this little brush. This also came from an Ipsy bag. So this is just like going to make it super, what's the word? Glowy? Mm, yeah. Wow! This is oh, the... my eyes! <laughs> Look at this packaging. Wow! No! No! <laughs> look at your eyes! <laughs> Dose of Colors, Desi X Katie Club. I bought the whole thing. So this is in the shade Fuego. Fuego means fire. Okay, and I'm taking my Sigma Tapered Highlighter Blush. This is a brush, not a blush. And what I do, I set it up with the Cupid's Bill first. I'm going in one more time. I'm going to take my Rose Water and I'm going to swirl a different brush. This is the e.l.f. concealer brush that you used on your eyeballs. I'm going to use this on my face. Okay, so we're back. We're back. And we might look a little bit different. We decided that off camera we were going to It was to time apply. to do liner. She did a wing. I didn't do a wing. And we also put on some brows. So I'm going to take my Real Techniques blush brush and I'm going to use it for blush mm -hmm. the right way. No, just kidding. There's no rules. I don't follow directions. And I'm going to take the Milani Baked Blush in Rose de Oro. So I'm going to use the Crown C513 brush. 
Um, it just looks like a pencil brush. Taking burnt orange, just running that across my whole lower lash line. I'm going to now go into my lower lash line. First, I'm going to take a black eyeliner. The Maybelline Gel Eyeliner in Black is Black. I'm going to go a little bit darker, red ochre. And I'm going to focus this more on the outer. I... And now I'll take the darkest shade, Cypress Umbra, which is the dark brown. And I'm just going to put that very close to the outer edge. This is an e.l.f. smudge brush. I'm just going in with the burnt orange and I'm just going to kind of smudge everything. I'm going to take this Eco Tools dual ended brush. I'm going to take the fluffy side and I'm going to take some burnt orange raw sienna and a little dab of the red ochre. Same three. I'm going to do highlight the inner corner with the Royal and Langnickel. BX95. I think I'm going to take Tempera. I'm going to take Red Ochre and I'm going to take Real Gar. I'm going to do the same exact thing, just forming it up. I'm also going to highlight underneath the brow bone. So now I'm going to take Cypress Umber. I'm just mixing all of them because why not? Go and this it. is staying on the outer to darken it up. I'm just going to take the MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus and I'm just going to spritz my face. So I have the Z palette, I'm going to go into MAC Nylon for my inner corner and I'm going to highlight the brow bone with it. I have the Jillian Lashes from the Lavish Ladies Collection. And I have the style Brooklyn Marie and these are from the Gorgeous Girls Collection. like to buy a pair of the Lash and Glam Lashes, you can use our first ever discount code. And you get 15% off, and our code is 5678GLAM, and you get 15% off anything. Lashes are on, bottom mascara is on. We're ready to complete the look with, with lips. lips. So I'm going to go with the glossy lip. I have Anastasia. Beverly Hills Kristen lip gloss. I have the lip gloss in the shade Gilded, so it's going to go on top. I have the MAC Creme de Nude lipstick here. I'm going to put this on. It's just a nude shade. I like to cancel out my lip color. Right, this is from Maybelline. It's a color jolt in strip down. So now I'm going to do Gilded on top. See, I'm going to use the Cargo Cosmetics gloss in house. I'm going to spray myself with the rose water. Oh, I'm sorry if I get you. Thank you for watching. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to join the Glam Fam. We'll see you all in our next video. Hey guys! <laughs> no, I mean, I like I, oh man. Sorry. I'm going to do this. I love it. And I love it. Tap, 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 how we are. Yeah, me too. So while you are. Are we gonna keep that in? Or? Yep. I think I need. Red oak. Hmm. Hmm. A more precise brush. Hmm. Oh, this is one of the real techniques. Real techniques. Hmm. Is it hmm. The gun. The gun metal. Hmm. I think it is. With red. Asking. Wow. <laughs> Okay. Are you kidding me? This is my- Who did- Are you filming? <laughs> yeah? Drama channels are... don't come for us. Hey guys. What up, glam fam? I think we should <laughs> do that. Much. <laughs> You're gonna scare them away! We're gonna go back and forth, 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 do 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 Living. It doesn't have um. Uh... <laughs> Blue mess. Yeah. Mesh. But she knows. Mesh it together. 
I went to the camera. I did it too. It's, it's okay. It's fine. It's fine. But is that a glue stick? What is it for? <laughs> brushing your, <laughs> no. brushing your teeth. Um, okay. We'll see you on our next. <laughs>